something in me will uh, react in a like very contracting way. Well, you know, I'm getting these images. One of them is like, uh, well, you know those clams that, that are very beautifully like a fluorescent colored and they have a, and then when you get close and they close up. It's almost like, really clam? I'm, I'm not a threat here. It's like I'm having this conversation. Well, I don't speak clam, but, uh, but I'm trying to have a, a oneness with the clam. Like, would you just mind staying open so I could get a closer look? But I understand it, you know, that it's like you're a big thing that moves, or, or I don't know what it is that is the predator of the clam. And maybe it is uh, people who snorkel and they have things to free up the clam. It's like, you're one of those guys. I was like, no, I just want to look at you. It's like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't want to be in your chowder, man, OK? Uh, you come into it that you could maintain your openness uh, and then be willing to also look to see that if there's something there that isn't quite right, that you check it out. I often say we're the check it out group. Anybody has that willingness to go better, to improve, to be truthful, so it does take whatever courage that takes to be open in a world like this. You know, there's some risk there, or be careful. Uh, so watch what you're doing and who you're doing it with and all that. But after a while, if you are learning how to be open so that the one who knows you completely also protects you completely, so it's just a matter of following, I experience it more like a surrender. Um, you know, inside it's like a, almost like falling backwards, but then Another way I experience it is like, oh, you mean like doing somersaults? And then it becomes athletic and gymnastic and beautiful. Like how uh, fairies with wings fly. <laughs>